If you recall from our 3D scanning best practices tutorial video, we typically recommend scanning a loop around a room and coming back to your starting point. This works for most rooms, but for long and narrow spaces, that can lead to being too close to the wall or rescanning what you've already covered. With these kinds of spaces, try using a U motion instead. When scanning a staircase, we recommend starting at the bottom of the stairs about two feet away from the bottom step, pointing where the bottom step meets the floor. To get the highest quality scan, and for your safety, we recommend that you scan as you walk slowly at a steady pace up the stairs. As you walk forward, move the iPad back down to capture the bottom of the steps and continue up the opposite wall. Repeat this pattern as you walk up the entire staircase. While scanning narrow spaces, try to keep the sensor a couple feet away from the wall. If you're seeing red, it means you're too close. Scanning at an angle to make sure you keep details like edges and corners in view. Avoid situations where the only thing the camera sees is blank white for several frames in a row. If you're using our scan to cat service, remember that you don't need to fill in every inch of detail in the scan. You simply need to ensure that you've captured the width of the steps, where the walls meet the ceiling, and any other details you care about, like railing heights and drops in ceiling height. Otherwise, holes in the mesh are fine, and won't result in holes in your CAD files. Congrats, you finished! Don't go back down the stairs again, as rescanning the same area over and over again can increase error. If you have any questions, our support team is ready to help at support at canvas.io.